What's up guys, you guys saw the title, gonna be naming every single NBA champion all the way from 1947 up until 2023. My strategy, I'm gonna try to work my way up backwards because I'm gonna try to build some momentum. That way once I get to the 70s and 50s and 40s, I have a little bit of steam. So without further ado, let's hop into it. All right, so easy, Nuggets, Dubs won it. Then you had the Milwaukee Bucks in 2021, Braun and AD. The Warriors won three in four years, so that makes it easy. This is a part of the, the Warriors and Cavs saga. I'm so glad that era in basketball is over. You had the Spurs seeking revenge on the Heat, who won back-to-back. -back. You had the one of the greatest upsets in NBA history in the Dallas Mavericks. And here's where you just have a bunch of Spurs. Every other year, it was San Antonio. You had D-Wade in the Miami Heat. You got this might have been... All right, 04 might have been the greatest upset in NBA history. Now we're in the Bulls dynasty era, so a lot of repetition there. Then we had a break. We had the Rockets going back to back. I'm happy I wasn't born during that era because as a diehard Knicks fan, it would have broke my heart to see my team lose in the finals like that. And I think I would have hated MJ, so it spared me some pain. You had the, the Pistons going back to back. The Lakers going back to back. There were a lot of back to back champions around this time period. Not a lot of parody. We had the the Celtics. The eighties were pretty much dominated by the Lakers and Celtics, so if it wasn't one, it was most likely the other. Except for eighty three. This one was the seventy sixers. If I'm not mistaken, they actually swept the, the LA Lakers this year. If not, then they beat them in five. Then the Lakers, probably the greatest rookie performance of all time in the NBA Finals. This is where I struggle a little bit. I know in 77, the Blazers won. Um, I think this was the, the Celtics as well. All right, Seattle Supersonics. I know the Supersonics won something during this period because OKC in their franchise history has a championship. It might have been here. Okay, good. And I know the Bullets had to have won something because I think Wes Unseld's been a champion. Let's see if they beat each other. Yep, they did. Okay. The Milwaukee Bucks won something as well. I can't remember what year they won. Did they win in 1970? I know the Big O and Kareem won together. They might have won in 71 then. Yeah, because it was 50 year anniversary. Nope. What? Oh, I didn't switch it yet. Yeah, 50 year anniversary between 2021 and 1971. The Knicks, I know we won two chips in our franchise history. So let me knock those out the way. I'm doing better in the 70s than I thought. Okay. Um, the Lakers. The Lakers, I think they won here. Yeah, the, I know the Lakers made it. Did they win it here as well? No. 75. Nope. All right, I'm going to keep going. So, 1960s is a little bit easier because, well, not a little bit. The 1960s are pretty easy. Bill Russell and the Celtics pretty much dominated, so let me just start from 59. Celtics, Celtics, Celtics. Honestly, I wouldn't have watched basketball if I was alive back then. You have the Celtics winning every single year. You have eight teams. There was literally no point. Every every season, you knew the outcome. Yeah, I feel bad for Lakers fans, man. If you had to endure that, that that's tough. All right, so I don't know who won in 67, but I do know who won in 58. So we had the Hawks. Mm, ooh, the, the Lakers. The Lakers won five championships before going to LA. Yeah, they might have. Did they three-peat? Nope. Lakers, 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 Lakers. That's all five of theirs. Let's see if the Celtics won anything beforehand as well. A little bit over four minutes. Gonna try to thug this one out. Did they win it here? Aha, all right, good. And just double checking. Nope, they didn't win there. The Philadelphia Warriors, they won something. Phila. I'm tripping. I don't even need to type all that. The Warriors, they won it here. I think the Warriors had, what, three or four championships, something like that, before they went to Golden State? Okay, cool. All right, so they actually had that one when they became the Golden State Warriors. So I got five left. I did a lot better than I thought I was going to. The Royals, right? Okay. All right, now I'm kind of stuck. These last four are going to kill me. I don't think it's the 76ers. I believe they only won that one championship. I really don't know about 55. I mean, whoever beat the Fort Wayne Pistons, I doubt I'd even know who that was. I'm going to take a shot in the dark. 
so Syracuse Nationals. Let's see if they they might have won something. Oh, yo, that's crazy. That that that, that was a, that was pulling a rabbit out of the hat. That was wild. Okay, let me try it again. No, I don't think they were the Nationals anymore. Nope. Yeah, guys, I think I might be taking an L on this one. We got 20 seconds left. Nothing's coming to mind. And I'm just going to end my misery. The Baltimore Bullets. Oh, my gosh. Wait, the Celtics won in 74? And then the Philadelphia 76ers. So they have two championships in, in franchise history. Honestly, I don't think I did too bad. I got 74 of the 77 teams. That's a 96%. The average is 63, so I'm content, man. I'm happy. Are you a basketball historian? If so, then make sure to check out this montage on the history of basketball or this other video on the seven greatest NBA finals of all time.